Hello fabulous Sagittarius, welcome to your horoscope for the month of August 2017. Looking at life and love, I am your astrologer Nadia Shaw, thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. A lot of people have been looking forward to this month and some for a very long time and that is because it is eclipse season. This month is eclipse season with one lunar eclipse and one solar eclipse. Of course, a lot of focus is being spent on that solar eclipse because it will be visible. It's a total solar eclipse happening in North America and it is a powerful one. But before we get there, we have a lunar eclipse happening two weeks earlier in the first part of the month. And this lunar eclipse is powerful in its own right as well. We tend to notice the sun more than we do the moon, but the moon has a power uniquely its own. And with a lunar eclipse, it is about the truth of what you feel and for you a lot of this truth of what you feel is going to be connected to a situation with a sibling a cousin or a neighbor in fact i am going to very much encourage you to be very kind and gentle to these particular people in your life because it is possible for some of you out there a small percentage of you out there it is possible that emotions may run high with these very people this month. So important to be very kind and gentle to siblings, cousins, and neighbors. Know what's yours and what isn't. This is one of the great powers that we have to be able to recognize what is about us and what is not about us. To know what you can take on and what you don't need to take on because it was never yours to take on to begin with. So it is possible that there is a situation with a sibling a cousin or a neighbor they may be especially passionate uh, so again kind and gentle goes a very long way with a sky like this but here's the thing here's the very fortunate thing Jupiter is speaking in supreme harmony with this lunar eclipse and this is one conversation that suggests luck and love and healing and ease and because Jupiter is a ruling planet it means that you are able to take whatever happens, whatever it is that is asking for a lot of your energy, wherever it is that you need to be more present for one of these types of people that I mentioned, and you're able to use it to in some way improve your life and move yourself in a more fortunate direction. Now it is possible that a friend is part of helping you to move in a more fortunate direction. So if any feelings do come up, if you're one of those people who can sometimes have complicated relationships with family members like siblings and cousins, or if you find that neighbors are being especially dramatic, whether or not it's about you, you can talk it out. Go to a friend, talk it out, and it will give you a whole other perspective that could end up being very beneficial to many different areas of your life. It'll help you to see potential, and it'll help you to gain wisdom in the process as well. Now, the great thing with this energy as well is that this tends to be a part of the sky that speaks to being in the right place at the right time and meeting the right person. It's when synchronicity is especially high. So make sure you're paying attention to your life, but remember, whatever if it feels uncomfortable if people are being dramatic don't make it about you and remember that this is leading you in a very positive direction this is about you opening up possibilities in your life as part of the great mystery sometimes we need to have these moments when emotions are high or when a button gets pressed that will allow us to truly use it to move ourselves in a very fortunate direction and it is a fortunate direction that you are moving towards indeed. So that will kick off eclipse season. Then we'll be in the middle of eclipses for two weeks and especially mystical time. So you'll be able to use this energy that much more to your advantage. And then we get to the big solar eclipse and it is big. It is one that astrologers and astronomers and sky gazers are just so enthusiastic about. And this is especially important for you because it is happening in what we consider your home in the sky. So it is happening in a part of the sky that has to do with long distance travel, immigration, citizenship, higher education, legal matters, as well as the philosophies that guide your life, whether those are religious philosophies or like moral philosophies, if you will. All of that is highlighted with this new moon solar eclipse. Now, as I like to say, eclipses are like jacked up new moons or jacked up full moons. They're like a normal new moon with a solar eclipse, but they're like 20 times more powerful. And with this, considering that this 
solar eclipse is speaking in supreme harmony with Uranus and Saturn there's a lot of that surprise very quick energy to this there's a lot of stable results happening as a result of what you do with this eclipse and Mars and Mercury nearby means empowerment and clarity mind clarity this is a great time for you to think about going back to school now we do have mercury retrograde but it's retrograde in a different part of your sky it's retrograde at the career part of your sky so don't worry if you don't know what you want to be yet or if you feel like you want to make a change and you're thinking about a new career but you don't know what that's going to look like just yet don't worry about that trust that part of the journey but i would say going back to school getting a chance to travel out of nowhere may very well show up for you with this solar eclipse if there's any kind of immigration or citizenship matters that you are involved in a new beginning and a pathway forward could very well show up for you you may have to act very quickly but you can make the absolute best of this time so some good news can happen on that front also as i said legal matters very blessed with this I do want to say though we've got mars and mercury close so there's passions are running high there's a sense of urgency there's a sense of change but there's also a sense of bravery as well and the interesting thing is is that this eclipse makes you feel like you like there's something about it that restores you to yourself that makes you feel like oh this is my comfort zone you will find that groove you will find that right place and wherever it is you find yourself in on this planet it will be where it is that you truly are supposed to be in school in another country um, it is where you're supposed to be so that you can bring out the very best of you the most authentic part of you now I also want to say this particular eclipse does have to do with things like the philosophies that guide your life and this could be a time when you are introduced to a philosophical school of thought a traditional school of thought that ends up having a very strong impact on you mind and soul and actually could end up benefiting you and your pathway forward now when it comes to matters of love I do think that a lot of this energy here is speaking to this idea of worlds opening up uh, may very well be part of you understanding love differently and more expansively at that we have Venus this month moving through a part of the sky for you that has to do with what's real that has to do with what's substantial that has to do with moving beyond the superficial and being truly vulnerable with another person and if you're open to meeting someone new this can welcome in some intense exchanges the superficial is just not going to cut it it's not going to be interesting to you you want something that you really can strive to understand yourself better and if you meet somebody now they will be part of that catalyst for you it can also suggest some very romantic very intimate experiences that end up being very meaningful to you in many areas of life if you are in an established bond this placement of venus can speak very powerfully to your understanding of um, the bond that you share with this person and how real you feel it actually is it also can denote a measure of generosity either you towards your partner or your partner towards yourself and generally this is thought to be a good placement for your spouse's income but as I said that eclipse the first eclipse the lunar eclipse I do think it's going to speak to you in love as well because it has to do with being understood and there's going to be a strong desire to be understood by another person at this time remember go to your friends because they could be very helpful in helping you to understand more deeply I would avoid any kind of emotional romantic entanglements with neighbors right about now because that could very well be part of the allure uh, for one of you it could end up feeling a lot more serious than it does to the other and it could end up getting a little bit complicated so if you can I would invite you to instead go to that Venus strive for something that's a little bit more substantial and strive for something that maybe uh, may take a little bit of time to cultivate and not necessarily be just uh, one moment that uh, you know that feels particularly passionate and you run with it instead if you go to a, a little bit of a softer place within you you will find that maybe what looks a certain way at first glance is actually something very different so pace yourself if you are so inspired but of course it's always up to you and in light of your sacred learning 
what I love about this month for you is that there's that real sense of possibility and potential and there's that real sense of seeing the world and your world very differently than you did before it opens you heart and soul and shows you new ways of truly being yourself thank you so much for watching you can get a video like this every week by logging on to astrofabulous.com or nadiashaw.com, signing up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get exclusive, expanded video scopes each and every week. I'm looking forward to this month because this month, each and every week, I will be diving in for each sign, all this wonderful astrological stuff happening. So I look forward to meeting you in the superstar space. Thank you again. It'll be a great week. Enjoy. It'll be a great month and a great week and a great eclipse. Enjoy.